Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays video. In this particular video, we're going to be taking out the Moraine Solnia. Is it Elk? Elklon? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And we have no pilots. Okay. This is another uh, French Navy. Al Al Sion. Alcon. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Now, I did have someone on one of my other. Uh, it was a Mirage. Uh, video comment that you can go in and edit to put the pilot back in. Um, not sure how to do that, but that would be good. I would like that. It's like a four-seater. From memory, the uh, cockpit was actually not too bad. A couple of instruments didn't work properly, but we'll have a look at that in a moment. Also had to change the propeller the same way you have to clean glass. You had to clean the propeller. Because in FSX, they've got a way of uh, imitating a fast spinning prop uh, with a particular texture. Well, it doesn't come over very well in uh, Microsoft Flight Sim, so you have to go in and edit it the exact same way you do when you clean the glass. So you change the. Uh, second one, long time to taxi, let's just press go. You have to change the. Uh, whatever it's called, the uh, format to uh, 1 instead of uh, the alpha in sync or whatever it is. Right, interior. Quite nice. Uh, now the gauges that I was saying is this one didn't size right and I'd like to say that one's crooked but the numbers are correct but the word alt is wrong but that might actually be as the plane and I don't think these things came over properly so <clears throat> look it's not a hundred percent it is uh, fairly good as is now I noticed the other uh, jet version of this um, brand of aircraft oh it's a three-seater oh we've got to try this all right so let's try I'll get back to my comment there center and right and center and back. Oh no, well, we actually got right down low so we can see all the instruments. Kind of sucks when you can't see we're out though. All right, and that's all the seating there is. So what I was going to say is um, the other uh, aircraft, same um, type, had these blinds that they can run down uh, on them. That was the private jet one. Now, quite nice. Let's see if we can get those lights on. Oh no, they don't seem to want to come up. We do get a flashing light underneath. Okay, well to start. Well, let's give this a go. See if we can actually get it going. Make sure we haven't got a park brake on. See if I actually just put it on. Nope. We're good to go. Very cool. Ramp it up and try not to get too much torque steer there. Alright, and we are fully up. Yes, we are. And we had too much torque steer because I looked down at my controls to make sure my propeller pitch was up. Alright, tail up, thank you. Wow, that's a wicked torque steer. I think that is editable in the Microsoft Flight Sim. You can actually tone that down in your controls if you are flying this legacy, which is what you need to be doing. Alright. Still running into that. We're already up, are we? Holy schmoly, that was so smooth. I hardly even felt it. Alright, gear up, thank you. Let's have a look from behind. Now the nose actually looks almost too small for the aircraft, but uh, we're kind of going to the left here before we even get off the end of the runway. Quite nice. Take those flaps up, we're not getting a lot of speed. There we go. So, that's a decent sound. I wonder if we can actually hit an autopilot and keep this level. I'd say that's probably a no. Because we're, we're banking to the left now. But it is fairly level even without hand on uh, controls. Okay. Some instruments are working at the speed, it is, is working, but it didn't quite come over properly. So that might be something you need to manually adjust the gauge. Uh, those things are possible. I'm not going to go into how to do that 
uh, in my videos, mainly because I uh, barely know what to do there. So if I were to tilt this, are we on autopilot? Maybe we were. No. No, it's not even a fly level or hold altitude, is it? Oh, no, yes it was. But the autopilot, so I've got a held altitude on and I just raised it a couple of hundred feet. Just raise a few more and it is climbing, so we may not have an autopilot, but we do seem to have a altitude hold. Look, it's not the fastest uh, aircraft. French Navy comes from the same uh, website that I have uh, multiple uh, French aircraft from that are all high quality so I'm very pleased with what they've got at their website so my hat is off to them they do really well this is a very nice aircraft I don't know whether I would necessarily fly for all that long I uh, would like more detailing here to actually work correctly slow fly as well wow took a long time to uh, come through with uh, air traffic control. Hello Sydney. Acknowledge that, thank you. Sydney Tower Red Blaze, Bravo, Pop Look, I'm not going to uh, carry this one on too much longer. It is a nice aircraft. It has not come over 100%, but I would still say uh, well done to them. Uh, it, was, it is an FSX aircraft, so for an FSX aircraft that came over to Microsoft Flight Sim, it's very good. So like, comment and subscribe and have a great day. Cheers.